heart receives its blood supply from two arteries. These are the right and left coronary arteries. Each of these arteries has its origin at the very root of the aorta. If you were to look at the root of the aorta, you would observe that it shows three natural dilatations. And these dilatations are the aortic sinuses or the sinuses of Valsalva. And it is in these sinuses that the coronary arteries have their origins. There are three sinuses, two of which give rise to the coronary arteries, one to the right coronary artery and the other to the left coronary artery. The two coronary arteries run in the sulcus or groove between the atria on the one side and the ventricles on the other. In other words, they run in the atrioventricular groove. And together they form a sort of crown around the heart and that's why they are called the coronary arteries, corona being a word for crown. The right coronary artery, very early in its course, gives off an important branch. And this branch is for the pacemaker of the heart, the sinoatrial node. So the sinoatrial nodal artery is usually a branch of the right coronary artery and an early branch at that. In about 35% of individuals, the artery to the sinoatrial node does not come off from the right coronary artery. In those instances, it's an early branch of the left coronary artery. The right coronary artery runs down the anterior surface of the heart in the atrioventricular sulcus. And as it runs down the atrioventricular sulcus, it gives off numerous branches to the right atrium and to the right ventricle. On reaching the lower aspect of this surface, it turns from front to back at the inferior margin of the heart and continues to run in the atrioventricular sulcus. So that is the course of the right coronary artery. The left coronary artery, which also arises from an aortic sinus, the left aortic sinus, runs from front to back in the atrioventricular sulcus between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Very soon after its origin, it gives rise to a large vessel that runs down the anterior aspect of the heart in the interventricular groove. This artery is called the anterior interventricular artery. Cardiologists call this the left anterior descending artery. And having given off this artery, the left coronary artery changes its name to the circumflex artery and continues to run backwards in the atrioventricular sulcus. There's something rather unusual about the filling of the coronary arteries. Whereas all other arteries in the human body fill during ventricular systole, the coronary arteries don't. In fact, they fill during the relaxation phase of the ventricles, in other words, during diastole.